everybody, I'm Nicole with Life with the McNairs, and today I'm just going to be doing um, a tutorial on a couple of shirts that I have to get done. I have to do some shirts for a customer. It's their anniversary, so she wanted some quick shirts made, so I'm going to get those done for her. But, um, yeah, I'll be doing tutorials here and there, and if there's any um, in particular that you want to see, um, let me know. You Okay, guys, here's a little design that um, I worked on last night, but um, I had a customer contact me, and they wanted this done, so my job was to get it as close to what they wanted as I could, and I think I did pretty good, so I'm going to work on um, getting this cut out. And press this is what I'm working on today I have a few others that I have to work on but I'll just show this one okay so this particular design is all ready to go so we're gonna get ready to cut it what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go here to the page setup and I'm gonna resize it because Full design. I'm gonna do 12 by 14, and then I'm gonna add my cut border so that I can see where I need to be cutting. I'm gonna resize it, make it a little bigger, cause we want it to be a full design. Of course, when you're cutting, you gotta keep in mind these red lines. That's kind of letting you know where exactly you're gonna be cutting it but i can make this a little taller because that that heart there is gonna be a different color they want it in pink so i can make it a little taller because those hearts are not gonna print out on the same on the same um color vinyl I see my blinds in the background on the screen. I'm trying not to show. I feel like this could probably come up a little bit, maybe. I think on his, his looks a little, what did I say? Um, look a little plain because on hers, it has like the full wedding ring. I'll show you hers in a minute. Oh, I didn't have a oh, I'm just bring it down cause... Okay, so what I'm gonna do is right click and flip horizontally because when you're um, cutting, that's the way it's gonna cut on your machine. You flip the paper. Okay, so this file is ready to cut. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and send our design to the cutting machine. We're gonna get our paper loaded. design let's see here i'm just gonna speed things up here uh while the machine is cutting but if you're liking this video so far be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you want to see videos like this in the future Okay, cutting's all done. I'm going to unload and then I'm going to use our cutting uh, tool that came with the machine. It just uh, works better when you're working with rolls of vinyl. Helps you get as close to a straight cut as you can um, when your design is done cutting. And it just helps when you're working with rolls of vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> 
Now we're going to get ready to work on the hearts. Like I said, she wanted them pink. Um, so we're going to get ready to get those cut. Here, I'm just going to ungroup them because cutting them spaced out like this would just waste your vinyl. So I'm going to ungroup the, um, the hearts by right clicking and hitting ungroup. And then that way it allows me to move the hearts into a straight line like I've already um, did the other ones at the top. Okay, once we got that done, we're going to go ahead and hit the send button and get ready to start cutting these out. So as long as they have the red lines around it, remember and make sure cut is selected. That means they are going to cut on your vinyl. Okay, so we got the blade is at 3, the force is at 5, the speed is at 10, and we're using the auto blade which is already selected. And we're going to hit the send button and go ahead and send over to our machine. Here we're just loading our pink vinyl and we're going to get ready to cut. Okay, we're done cutting everything. I'm going to start weeding now. And as you can see, the little pink um, thing on my fingers, it just helps to catch the small vinyl pieces as I'm weeding out material. I'll leave the link to it in the description box below. Okay, and once I'm done, I'm going to weed out the pink ones and then we'll be ready to press. And y'all, ignore my messy room. My craft room is also our guest room and I don't know what Jace is doing right here. Okay guys, we're going to get ready to heat up our shirts. I'm going to go ahead and um, preheat the heat press. I have it set at 305, so it's going to automatically start to preheat for me. That's dusty. I need to get some of this dust off. Okay, guys, so my heat press is all ready. I got it set at 305, and we're going to do 15 seconds per press. So I already have my first shirt. Jace, Jace, don't do that. I already have my first shirt here ready to go on the heat press, and we're just going to bring it down. This is a um, hot feel, so you can go ahead and feel it now. And voila! Now we just got to put the hearts on it. Okay guys, so we got the hearts placed on the shirt. I'm going to use just a sheet here that protects the other uh, vinyl that's already on there. It's all done. Just gotta peel off the little. Shirt's all done. Okay, so here's our finished product. I hope you guys um, have enjoyed this video. If you liked everything you saw, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for future videos. <music>